Hi and welcome to this Faruna Australia TZ Touch 3 MFD training video. Today in this video we're going to look at the nav data pane and how to edit and change that nav data and its uses. Okay, so let's jump straight in and we'll look at the chart plotter display. So this is our chart plotter display, our red boat in the middle and we've also got a route, uh, a SAR route to follow. But we want to have a look at some nav data. So to turn the nav data on you've got two options. Firstly is you either swipe from the left and it'll drag out the nav data pane. You can also drag out from the right and tap on nav data in that list. So down there I can choose nav data on or off. So swiping from the right and nav data. Or again we can just swipe from the left and the nav data will appear. So the nav data includes information like date and time which is on a demo file currently so it is an older date and time. But there's also a position, heading, course, speed, depth amongst a variety of different data sets that you can put in there. I would like to add the tide information so to add that we hold our finger down on the nav data pane and you can see that blue bubble pops up and then we've got an edit nav data screen. We've got a little plus button down the bottom here and I'm going to choose to add nav data which brings up our nav data pane uh, and we can add information to it. So I'd like to add tide information. So I tap on tide and now I've got tide. Uh, I can also rearrange it so if I'd like to have course over ground above heading I can tap on the dots on the end of each nav data option and I can drag and move that nav data. And so that's a quick way of editing and changing your nav data. Once you're finished tap on close and now that's your nav data screen. You can also adjust the size of this nav data. So if I wanted to adjust it I go to the home up in the top right. I go to settings and then general. And in general we look at scale and layout. Oops, scale and layout. And I can choose small or smallest. So this will allow us to put more information on that nav data. So we've adjusted the size of the nav data. So again I go up to the top left hand side and go to home. I go to settings, and general and under general I've got a, a scale and layout sorry and scale and layout I can set now this to largest if I need some glasses and now you can see that the nav data is much much larger but I can fit less on. If you have lots of nav data you can swipe up and down to look at the extra nav data at the bottom. I've got two nav data panes as well so I've got a data nav data pane and a route so you can see at the bottom of the nav data pane above the scale there are data and route and I can tap on each one of those and I have different data sets or different functions to display. So this one will display an active go to or a route which is also displayed at the top of the display but these ones are a bit larger and I can hit start nav uh, I don't have a pilot so it doesn't matter but now you can see all the values are populated um, and I've got a trip and, and ETAs and distance to waypoints etc. So that completes this video on the nav data pane and it's set up